one of the simplest and most effective suspension tuning mods. This chunk of metal does so much for your car's handling, it is disgusting. So today I'm gonna upgrade the sway bars on the Miata, and while I'm doing that, I'm gonna tell you all about it. What they do, how they work, and how to set them up correctly for what you want. But first, let's remove the ones that came with the car. Okay, imagine this, two wheels on the same axle. This thing, the anti-sway bar, is dangling from the chassis like this. One end is attached to this wheel, and the other end is attached to this other wheel. Now these wheels are connected together. And because of the way this thing is attached to the chassis, if one wheel goes up and down, the other wheel goes up and down as well. If there's load on one wheel, that load gets transferred to the other wheel. They're not independent anymore, just like you. Still living off your parents, because you're a broke little bitch. So you can't have one side compress, the other side decompress. Unless the bar gets twisted like this or this. Now these bars are actually torsion bars. So they do twist and act like a spring in that way. The stronger and thicker the bar, the stiffer and harder it is to twist the bar. That's why these aftermarket ones are significantly thicker and harder to twist. So a stiffer bar means more roll resistance at that axle. And a softer bar or no bar means less roll resistance and more independent suspension action. What's really important though is the balance between your front and rear sway bar. Let's say you don't touch your rear sway bar and you only make your front sway bar 
stiffer. You obviously reduce front body roll. That gives you a crispier and more stable steering at turning. Very nice. But that stiffer front bar transfers more load off the inside front tire when you're turning. That reduces front grip. Less front grip, more understeer. Understeer is when your car wants to go straight when you turn and it just pushes through the corner. I've already made a video about this stuff, okay? Just keep up. Now let's say you don't change anything up front, but you make your rear bar stiffer. You reduce rear body roll and you shift the balance towards oversteer. That's when the rear steps out, like in drifting. That sounds fun, but if it's too stiff, it's gonna make the car very unstable and twitchy. The car kind of wants to kill you. A softer rear bar obviously does the opposite. You have more rear grip and stability and it reduces oversteer. Doesn't matter if your car is front wheel drive or rear wheel drive, it's gonna do the same thing. But usually in a front wheel drive car, you have too much understeer and you wanna reduce that. So you would usually throw on a stiffer bar in the rear to help it rotate better and add a little bit of oversteer. If it's a real wheel drive car that's a bit tail happy, you would want to reduce oversteer so you would do the opposite. For this one though, I'm changing both because I just want to get rid of body roll altogether and I want that crisp steering feel. But I also don't want to throw it off balance. So I'm also making the rear stiffer. That should hopefully reduce overall body roll. I mean this car only has 100 horsepower so a little oversteer would be fun. So let's install these bad boys. I feel like I've already talked too much, to be honest. And this camera angle is really hurting my neck. So I'm gonna stop.
not gonna lie, it is a rougher ride. You know, stiffer bars reduce roll, improve response. They just make your car sharper, especially if you use adjustable end links. You can really dial it in. But the trade-off is less compliance over bumps and stuff. And you might be thinking, oh, that's just because you're driving on the street. Otherwise, stiffer is always better. That's not the case, man. Here's the thing. Let's say you're developing a full-on race car, just track only. You would actually put everything on the softest setting. You're trying to see what's the softest you can get away with. Because soft means compliance. And compliance means grip. And grip is what gives you speed. But that's it for this video. And relax, I'm actually working on the tuning series, man. There are lots of moving parts and planning involved. And listen, this is a one-man band. Okay, I do everything myself. Like right now is 11.30 at night. I have to go home, do laundry, normal person, just like you. But it would be really cool if I hit that 100K subscribe count. So subscribe if you haven't already, like if you like the video, and leave a comment. It, it gives me something to read while I'm sitting. And thanks for watching.